Robert J. Wright and Aaron McCarty, all guests on Keel Heard via the Jack Spring Electric Keel Newsmaker Hotline. Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser is here. Mr. Billy, welcome back to Keel. Thank you, sir, for taking time for us today. Always, my friend. Good morning. Let us start here. We remain in sort of phase two. I call it sort of phase 1.5. Uh, we talked about this a little earlier. You as sort of the de facto tourism boss in Louisiana, you and your folks, you have had to be, you remain having to be more innovative, more creative than ever before. Tell us what's going on. Tell us what's on your mind. Well, we, you know, we're still asking people that feel comfortable to safely get out and take a Louisiana road trip. We were at the Slide Out Welcome Center yesterday welcoming visitors giving out masks, hand sanitizer, to make sure they're moving around Louisiana safely. Um, we've got 21 beautiful state parks. The last several weekends, we saw record numbers. We're off in Louisiana. If you book a cabin or a campsite uh, and you stay three nights, you punch in welcome back and you get the fourth night free to encourage people to get out and take advantage of those parks. And we're asking them to support those local businesses and restaurants and shops we've got historical districts main streets a lot of great things to see in all the small towns and cities all over louisiana and it's an opportunity to get out stay close to home but visit a part of louisiana you haven't seen Ooh, how's about new orleans mr billy that is my favorite city not only in louisiana it's my favorite city in america what is the status down there what are you telling folks about that well, it's, it's kind of tough. You know, with the bars not open, uh, there's a few restaurants and a few shops open, but um, it's not come back as well as uh, many other places in Louisiana. Natchitoches, Shreveport is, um, is really doing a lot better than a lot of other parts of the state because of staycation. Uh, the mayor of, of, of Natchitoches told me all the people in his town are from uh, New Orleans, Homa, uh, Thibodeau area. So, uh, Louisiana's are getting around, but it's just uh, with all of the businesses not open in the quarter, uh, they're struggling probably more than every area of the state. Billy, you're helping too. As we're getting, going back to school, DeSoto goes back today. Um, Caddo is not for a couple more weeks, but you're also helping get the word out about help for students because it looks like in Caddo, 51% of students are going to stay home. They're not going back to class. That's what they've said in the survey. Right. So you're, you're helping to get the word out about help that's available for these youngsters, right? Right. We, you know, we've had this program for a long time called HomeworkLA.org. And, and use, use the ship is up like 400%. But there's 1,800 tutors available for kids on that homework. Um, you know, I know I couldn't do today's math. Mm -hmm. and those things that kids need. Uh, but there's there's uh, college graduates, teachers, tutors on this uh, uh, program that you can dial into and get help for your kids. Uh, we also have a great Uniquely Louisiana site where you can learn about uh, all the unique history of Louisiana. Um, two sites that we offer through the library system that have, not, have been underutilized uh, until they shut down. And they have really gotten a lot of traffic and helping a lot of kids uh, while they're trying to catch up on their studies from home. Billy, let me ask you back to tourism for just a minute, because I'm struggling with this. A friend of mine was planning to go to New Orleans this weekend and realized, why? How long before we can recover from this? How long do you think this is going to impact our state? Well, you know, the governor said yesterday we've kind of leveled off. And, and I believe after meeting with the vice president, his medical people, and the governor uh, here a week or so ago, here and there, um, what's going on across all the states, 4th of July was the same week we opened up the bars and we saw that great spike. And, and the last several days of, of leveling off has been the end of that is what I, uh, I, I gather. And so if we can keep, wearing our mask, keeping our distance, and following the rules, I'm hoping this level off will eventually start to decline. And um, and I'm hopeful that we can uh, see the end of this in the rearview mirror and, and this thing level off and start to head south 
and get to phase three and get Louisiana back open again. Trying to be optimistic about this, Mr. Billy, and you and I have never really hung out before. We haven't uh, we haven't exchanged. <laughs> he we really have... wants to, Billy. The point is this. Me too. Can you imagine New Orleans, French Quarter, or hell, anywhere in New Orleans for that matter? Can you imagine New Orleans the weekend that we get back to normal? Well, <laughs> You know, that's that was the, the opening up before, and I think we're going to see it open back up with a little different. It'll be a little crazy, but I think, you know, if we get through this thing and continue to see it level off and go south and we have a football season and those things, I think you're going to see people wearing their masks, keeping their distance where they can um, to make sure we don't see another spike. Um, so I think life's going to be different for a while. But but I do see a day when we get back to uh, to really having the good times and the streets crowded and people out uh, forgetting about this horrible time we went through. But I really it it it, it bothers me that so many businesses, uh, restaurants, family businesses won't make it through this time, especially now with the delayed phase two. Um, people that just aren't going to be able to weather that storm. And, and go out of business. You know, we could lose 40 to 50 percent of the restaurants in this state. And and that's a big draw uh, for many areas. They go to eat the food. Those special restaurants and mom and pops operations that have been around for so long, I just can't imagine losing. We lost K. Paul's. There's a lot of other family businesses and small restaurants that may not make it through this time. Well, a couple more points to wrap up, Mr. Billy. Number one is there's nothing wrong with a little crazy. I'm sure you'll agree with that. And number two is, in my opinion, it's a feather in your cap that you can't do today's mathematics. So there you go. <laughs> well, listen, make sure everybody get out and, and, and follow the rules, but get out and support your local businesses. Um, that's going to be the difference in, in a lot of the business making it through, whether you don't feel comfortable going and dining out, uh, get takeout, uh, order from these local shops and, and uh, businesses to help them make it through this time because we're surely going to need them as we bring this economy back and bring tourists back to Louisiana.